Europe has put a lot of work into understanding the importance of regional economies. The EU Clusters Observatory, other work, has led us to a better understanding of how regional economies bring economic growth by attracting businesses. I think that's an important part of Europe's future. I think we can share experiences. The U.S. has some very well-known clusters. Silicon Valley, for example, is perhaps the globe's best example. But Europe, in its work, in its development of its own clusters, in finding ways to specialize and grow jobs, we have a lot of experiences between the United States and Europe that we can share, and we can share for our mutual benefit. I think we need to start analyzing international commerce and international trade in terms of clusters, not just nations. Clusters, I think, are inherently international. They look for the best of the best without regard to the nationality of a person or firm. And they create connections to other clusters wherever located, in the same country, in the same continent, or around the world. I think this vision of global commerce is very inclusive and very powerful, and we should be working on it. We need to start by just asking questions. We haven't thought about trade policy this way, but we should start thinking about it. We should start analyzing the issues that come to force relationships between the U.S. and China, between the EU and China, between different parts of the world, by asking if clusters are critical to national economic success, what international forces can make clusters more successful? The point about clusters is they are innovative, but it doesn't mean they have to be high tech. It doesn't mean they have to be any particular industry. It means they're innovative in the following sense. People and businesses get together to create new forms of economic value. That can happen in any industry and in any place.